Hi there folks, I've been doing a lot of wood cutting lately. Uh, my axes are getting dull and this one's got a, a problem with it that I'll have to discuss here in a few minutes. But, well, I got more wood to get cut in quite a bit. So I got to get this thing sharpened up. This and the, the kid's little tomahawk hatchet here. So this video is about sharpening an axe, how to do it properly, and a few different methods for that. It's pretty darn straightforward to sharpen an axe. I mean, all we're doing is removing material from each side of the axe to give it a nice, excuse me, give it a nice even and crisp bevel on the edge of that blade. So, yeah, that's all we're doing is beveling off here on the bit, the edge towards the blade here of the axe, and the same with a hatchet. Same thing if you're sharpening a knife, really. It's just a little bit different of a technique. So, first things first, the angle of the bevel. There's some different ideas about angle. I've noticed that uh, most of the guys who use axes a lot, especially for felling trees, for felling trees, for notching logs, that kind of thing, they all kind of agree that a finer angle is more appropriate, and that is, um, especially if you're cutting more, a lot more softwoods, less of the real hard stuff like your bur oak and pin oak. But, so the angle here on the axe, the final angle here, I like about a 25 to 20 degree, in, anywhere in that zone is fine by me. That's where most of the axe pros tend to agree, right around there is more appropriate. So, how do you get the right angle? How do you keep the right angle? Well, they do sell angle gauges. I thought about buying one. Um, I decided that it didn't seem quite worth my $12.99 to buy the angle gauge, which would have showed me a nice 20 and 25 degree angle. Basically, it's just a, a wheel with some notches in it. And you select the notch that you want and you just set it right over there and it tells you if you got the angle or not or if you need to keep working on it. The simple way to keep the angle, we're going to start with a approximately 25 degree angle or it's actually going to be more like a 23, 22 and a half degree angle. And here's what we do. First I pick a 45 degree angle. I'm going to hold this. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe I can lower it better. About a nice 45 degree angle with my file here. And then I'm going to do half of that. Half of the 45 is about 23, 22 and a half degrees. And that is exactly what I want. So the tools for sharpening an axe. I've got my file here and I've got my stone. This is just a single cut file or a mill file. Some old timers would refer to it as a bastard cut file. It's got single lines in it going one direction as opposed to a file that has lines this way and this way crisscrossing. That type is much more aggressive and it will remove a lot more metal at once. The single cut file which has lines cut just one direction it creates a smoother finer edge and this is this is a kind of a mid-sized file. Usually we're talking somewhere between a 6 to 10 inch mill file for axe work and that's the teeth are fine enough that it creates a, a good edge. It removes enough metal but it still creates a fairly fine edge and then I've got my stone to hone that edge down after I get it and this stone is just a piece of basalt that I got from the sand dunes out here. It was wind cut so as this as this stone that used to be round sat on top of the sand dunes with the sand blowing across it for who knows how long you created a very, very, very perfect edge. So it's as simple as first we, we select the angle we want, we remove material from the, with the file until I get that angle to where it needs to be. And then I take the stone and lubricate it with either an oil or a spit and I just hone it to basically polishing the file marks off of the blade here to make it smoother. Polishing um, a smoother smoother bit here cuts in a lot better and then I'll go slightly a little bit sharper of an angle just to hone that edge a tiny bit more 
and make a good cutting angle. So here's what that looks like. I need to select the edge for my set the edge for this axe. This axe actually has a problem. I found that out while cutting with it and I can see it looking at it now. It's got a, a mismatched bevel. So the angle or the bevel on this side of the axe is different than what's on this side of the axe. This side is a lot more abrupt so it's kind of like a, that. Pretty much all axes, I don't know if you can see it on this thing or not, doesn't focus well. They're going to have two different angles on the on the axe head. The initial angle, which is on this one, more of a utility axe, but on this one it's basically from here to here. Where it's one angle all the way down, and then the last half inch to quarter inch will have a secondary angle where it cuts in a little more. So it's going to be like this, and then like that a little bit. And that last half inch to quarter inch is the angle that we set. We're going to do a 45, and then we're going to do half of a 45, so about there. That is going to be about 23 degrees, so depending on how good you're eyeballing it, that's going to be between 20 and 25 degrees on an angle. Then all you have to do is keep that same angle, more or less, across the whole thing as you file. Now all we're going to do is file across, attempting not to go like that at all as we file. It takes a little work. Now I can see my file mark forming. And my file mark right now is kind of up here in the middle. Eventually it'll work its way this way more and down towards the edge. And once it touches the edge, I'm getting awful close. I know that I've got it where I need to. Once my file mark, the new shiny spot that I'm making, reaches all the way to the edge of that blade and starts to creep, whoops, and starts creating a burr here on the back side where I was filing. Your stone needs to be wet. You can either spit on it, you can use oil. I don't like oil because it makes a nasty sticky mess. And all we're doing here is starting out at the same exact angle that the filing was, going in a circular motion up and down with light to moderate pressure. We're just polishing the file marks out So we're working on polishing out those file marks first. Once we get that fairly well, I'm going to go ahead and tilt this slightly more that way, ever so slightly, just to hone a little bit more, a little extra right on the very edge. Make sure there's no burrs, make sure it's a little fine on that edge. Then this axe will be hair cut and sharp and ready to go. There we go. I forgot to mention this earlier. Uh, there's a pressure difference that you have to have while you're filing or honing using any type of stone or file on the blade. At first you're going to start with a more aggressive pressure and that's because you have a lot of work to do. So start more aggressive. As you get closer to the finished product, once you start seeing that this edge has been filed about all the way perfect, you're starting to meet those two, those two edges with a nice clear sharp, sharp blade there. I'm going to lighten up the pressure and do a lot more moderate and going to lighter pressure. Ultimately my last five to ten strokes are going to be almost no pressure at all other than just my finger setting down on it. 
very lightweight and that is because when you're pushing down heavy and hard with the file or with a stone it's a rougher grind on the blade so well we want a smooth blade we're going to go lighter weight. It's also a lot easier to control things towards the end when we're doing a lot less pressure. So I'm barely pushing on this file at all here. We're smoothing out a lot of the file marks that way. I'm also working on getting rid of the burr. This thing will have a massive burr on it from filing and just very very almost no pressure at all back and forth once on each side rotate a few times it starts to really remove that burr same thing with the stone once we're using the stone here I'll start with a more moderate pressure just kind of circular more aggressive set it down here anytime you can set it down you're going to wobble less. So once I get closer to it, to where I want to be, I go lighter pressure. And I start doing smoother and fewer strokes. Same thing if I'm going to be using this thing. Smoother and, and lighter weight as you get towards the end of your work. And that's going to create a finer polished and a finer honed edge and help to get rid of that burr. There's going to be a massive burr on this thing from filing and even if you can't see it you can feel burrs if you run your hand like this along it or a finger you'll feel there's one side where it kind of catches. The burr is mostly on this side for this thing so I'm going to keep working on it here. Another thing you can use instead of a stone or a little sharpener like this one of these sharpening sticks or sharpening steels just very lightly I'm gonna get this so that it's slightly sharper of an angle than this bevel just so I can work on the edge only and I'm gonna very lightly run along that edge on both sides to take the burr off just a few times very lightly You might think this is way overkill. Trust me, it really helps the sharper your axe is. Everything works better. Okay, I have an axe and a little tomahawk here that now both have a razor honed edge on them and they are ready for some serious work. And I work seriously, so that's good. I've got to get going here. we got breakfast and chores, so I'll catch you later. Bye now.